going on everyone? I got a little update video here. We'll be going out this weekend. It's already Wednesday now and Thursday tomorrow. Getting this boat all ready for the weekend camping trip. It'll be a Saturday and Sunday. And uh, I've done a few upgrades on the boat since then. I did not record it. Fortunately, just trying to get the boat rolling here. But um, did an upgrade I wasn't planning on quite doing yet. But it ended up happening. So I'll show you here real quick. As you can tell, I now have a Victron 10 amp uh, charger, and the reason for that is, get this open, there we go. I now have two lithium batteries, both 20 amp, 20 amp hour batteries, 256 watt hour, so I have a 512 watt hour and 40 amps of lithium which is pretty close to a normal car battery that was in here for now there's only two uh, these are only batteries I could actually get by the weekend so fortunately that's why I went with this size of battery may get another two to fit here that would give me quite an ample amount of power but um my little which I'll put in the video right now my little uh, portable power grid that I was planning on bringing but really don't want the salt air getting into it that's only 298. I have this 50 watt panel right now up top here. I actually have two of those, but I'll be installing them once I make the rails on here on the side to swing out on both sides. That's just more projects to come, but for now that's how it's going to roll a little bit. I also put in a 12 volt port on here, which is right now running my fridge. It has been running it all day at 40 degrees right now it's 39 Fahrenheit and um, it fully charged the battery still today so it drawed about 3.3 amps when running on eco on a max it will draw about 4.9 amps and it because I have it plugged into the load on the solar charge controller this solar charge controller will actually use the solar to run that fridge and whatever battery it also needs depending on however many amperage I'm getting from the sun which the max I've gone through today was 2.8 amps so it did use about an amp of the battery to run this when it turns on because of course it turns on and off depending on temp but so I'm feeling pretty good about overnight having plenty of power since my uh, little power pack that I was gonna take is 298 watt hour and basically I almost basically have double that because I have 512 and that will run in my truck in the heat for all day from 6 a.m. till well technically starting from 6 a.m. in the hot truck all the way overnight into the morning at 6 a.m. again and I'll have two bars still left on the power pack itself so I know having this double should be ample for what I'm running, which is mostly this and a USB outlet. Otherwise, I have all my cooking supplies and everything are all wireless themselves. So they all have a battery built in. I tried to do that for a reason. The only other thing will be running the Simrad, which won't be drawing much at all. I would have bet I don't think it would draw much at all. And also, all the lights inside are powered by lights in, in them themselves. So there shouldn't really be much draw coming from here at all, and it should be ample enough power as long as there's solar in the morning. should be ample for the weekend. So the only thing I do have to do right now, which is why I am here today at the shop installing stuff. Let me put this back. Go back in. Is... I need to finalize tightening all the wires up now that I have this. That, unfortunately, is going to stay for now until I actually build more into the boat because there's really no way of hiding this. And I really don't want to drill holes yet until I have a proper location, which, of course, solar panels will be at the back, which means this wire won't even be here because then it would be going through a connection here and a connection there once the rack is or the rails are made up for the solar panels to be on each side and then the wires will run through here up here so this won't be here anymore once I get that done 
but these will. So I need to cut some of the zip ties that are in the wrong place and tie these all up right above here, underneath. Well, technically underneath, but right up here. Actually, I could tuck behind it quite nicely if I can. So I'm gonna do that, and then I need some way of cooking, because unfortunately, I was not able to find the original Catalina 22 sliding kitchen here. So unfortunately for the weekend, I need something, so I'm gonna be cutting some wood and making my own custom kitchen here. Oh, while I'm at it, I'll question some people here. Uh, so now that I have lithium, and I know when I get some money back together after doing the swap on lithium and the charger and everything I know I will that was a little too loose sorry I know I will thinking about it thinking about it I haven't officially figured out I've watched a few videos of some sailors that have it uh, of course a lot of them have 200 dual 200 amp hour batteries and I don't have any of that but I could have dual 512 watt hour batteries and have just under a hundred amp hour battery as much as probably a little bit more expensive than just buying a full straight a hundred amp hour battery I got multiple options I guess and I can usually get them next day for those batteries paired to the larger batteries don't know why that's the way shipping works but I've seen a few sailors which I don't really should need to worry about because I'm of course not traveling across the world in a 22 but so right now I'm using propane which I really don't want to be using on the boat I've seen too many incidents yeah I'm only using one pound bottles but still I don't want to be keeping it on board per se and I can't find alcohol stoves anywhere can't buy them new probably could find it at a convenience store a boat convenience shop or something may do that if I end up lucky finding one but otherwise, I'm thinking if I upgrade enough, I can maybe run in a single burner, which I'd rather have two, but a single burner induction cooktop. Uh, now, I've watched quite a few videos about them and how they work. Uh, the lowest ones I've seen are 1800 watts, but also the temperature you adjust it at on there is actually the water. So most commonly, they start off at 300 watts of power. I know they make some camp ones, that little single burner ones. Uh, I would like to have a flat top and actually make this look modernized a bit. But um, I'm thinking about it. Don't know officially exactly what I'm going to do for the cooking area. I do love to cook. I do have a small grill, two versions to go outside that are charcoal. Which again, keeping more stuff on board that I'm trying not to do this already is a small boat as it is. So it's keeping more and more stuff on board for supplies, I like to try and keep it minimal to what's needed. But this is all trial and error. Again, there's so much I could do with this boat, but I just need to get out in the water with it. Oh, speaking of that, I'm getting out in the water, except for now we're actually camping. Post some videos right now of us actually going on our first sea trail for about a 40 minute cruise. Again, no masks, just like camping, I'll be using no masks for now until I repair it, do some little upgrades on it. But um, it went great, everything worked, zero problem, no water inside the hull at all, and it went great. So now, for this weekend, it's time to get her on a camping trip, and it will be me, my fiancé, and a dog, medium-sized dog. So <laughs> she's already been on the boat on sea trial, and she did great. She actually fell asleep in the forward bed up here, which is stacked with everything right now that was in here. She fell asleep up there, it was awesome. The sunset was great, just cruising around. The wind was dead. The winds are meant to be up this weekend a tiny bit, but we'll see how well that goes. And I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'll show you guys as the process happens. I'm gonna start building this kitchen right here so I can actually cook some decent meals and have a little extra storage for all the cooking utensils, cause that's basically the only thing that needs to be stored on here. I have Cubby's here, cubby underneath there, cubby underneath where I'm sitting, and of course the main table that's right now set up as a full bed because I didn't need the table. There's some storage underneath the bed, but it's pretty useless because the bed. <laughs> so I need something for kitchen. 
I don't have the sink hooked up here until I actually finalize everything, but I want it to look modernized clean. That's just the way I'm trying to go, as you can tell by using this vinyl flooring everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but the flooring in general. I like it. It makes the boat look a little modern, and I enjoy it. So, let's get to it. And I'll do little clips here and there of the process of everything, but I want to get it done tonight. Get it launched, get it out there, anchor off at one of the islands, wait for the sandbar, and chill out, and just have a relaxing weekend. I was going to take windsurfing stuff again, but I think it's a little too much for the first time. The winds look pretty decent, but trying, if I don't find a good spot, especially since I haven't been out there yet, I don't want to go out there and all of a sudden have no sandbar to set up my windsurfing stuff because they ain't going to happen on here. There's not enough room, especially with the dog and another person on board, to set up windsurfing stuff. So unfortunately, I don't think that'll be happening, but yeah, keep you guys updated. Here's an update on the little kitchen build real quick. It's not done, but I've gotten the basics all set up on it now. So there we go. I'm gonna make some more down here, don't worry about it, there's just the basics. It's not mounted in right now, but it's solid where it is. And of course, this cushion fits perfect where it is right now. Think about possibly putting this underneath here. Maybe a slide out. I'll see how far I get, because of course I'm just doing what I got here. But, that's better than having nothing there. So let's get the rest of this looking a bit better now. Alrighty, I got something for now. Put a little bit of stuff on top. Got the little cooker here. A little two burner. And the this down here. That's all I'm going to do for now. Just because the point of this is not what I want in here. This is just for the weekend. Until I can find the actual Catalina slide out kitchen. Don't know why it's so difficult to find. But for some reason it is. So uh, for now, just for the camping to have some sort of table here, this is what it's going to go with for the weekend. Mm -hmm. 